lovelies and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video if you're new to this channel i mean if today is your first time discovering this channel oh my god you are welcome i am so happy to have you here and my name's joy and on this channel i'll be bringing you latest news and gist and if you would like to see more videos from this channel do go ahead and click on the red button down below and turn on the bell for notifications so you'll be notified whenever i upload new videos with that being said, let's get into the video. Let's watch together. On what is happening over this morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Chide Bukokoma, the most state correspondent of the Point Newspapers. Here is the ever busy Oware, or Kigwe Road in Oware, the capital city of Imo State. Here this morning, I will be your host and I will bring you the situation reports across the length and breadth of Oware this morning. But well, let's start from this particular spot. If you know Oware very well, you will know, you will agree with me that this is one of the busiest routes for this morning. The road is virtually empty this morning because on a normal, and on a, on a normal day, there would have been a traffic gridlock on this route this morning. But the reverse is the case. Just very few vehicles are plying the road intermittently. Just very few vehicles. People are sitting back home. Despite the suspension of seat at home order as declared by IPOM. But the over residents and Imo State indigenous have continued for the fourth week running, have continued to obey the seat at home order. They have continued to say that they will keep sitting at home in protest of the, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazin Lambikalo, who is being heard and tried by the federal government at the federal high court in Abuja, is released. This morning, virtually all business activities are shot. The two banks that are here, very close to here, are shot this morning. I'm talking about First Bank and Access Bank. They are shot this morning. This is one of the bi biggest shopping centers, supermarkets, shopping malls in Oware. This one you are seeing now, priceless stores. It is short this morning. It is short this morning. Another big mall here that is called Save Mall is also short this morning. Another big uh, 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 mall here that is called Everyday Supermarket is short this morning. Students of Imo State University are not going to school, just very few of them this morning and they are trekking home. People, few persons who came out to go to work are finding it very difficult to assess commercial vehicles. Almost 90% of commuters in Oware are sitting back homes. Traders are, back, are, are sitting in their houses. Business owners are sitting in their houses. But business outlets that I've seen this morning open are Petroleum fuel stations and pharmacies. Pharmacies are operating this morning. Petroleum fuel stations are operating this morning. Like here we are now. There are three, there are four petrol, petroleum uh, filling stations and they are all open. Every Links is open. Orlando is open. Uh, Masses, this one is open. And another one here, this one you are seeing is also open. This one is open, I put a link. This one is open and the other one is open. Just these four filling stations are operating this morning. But surprisingly, since I've been here for over 40 minutes, I've not seen any vehicle go to any of the filling stations to refill its tank. I've not seen any vehicle because the roads are actually empty. Let me take you to a popular bus stop here. We are ordinarily on a Monday morning like this. We have seen not less than 400 people here now waiting to board vehicles to their various destinations. We have seen a litany of vehicles here carrying people to various destinations. But this morning, this place is empty. This place now, this place is called the OG flyover. This place now, this is one of the busiest bus stops in our world, the most state capital. But this morning, this place is virtually open. We just took these two buses. Now you are seeing these small buses you are seeing, and with nobody inside or inside any of it. You can see this bus now. There's nobody inside that. But 
on a usual day. This, the buses would have been filled now. But you can see there are people inside this one. But this one, this morning, there is nobody inside it. That is to show you that people are sitting back home. This OG flyover bus stop usually used to be a place of be of activities where people stay here to apply to various routes. But this morning, the recognition of Nam de very many people are sitting back home. Okay, you're not sit at home. Why now? You are doing and you are on the road. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, from village, you are going home. Okay, you'll not be walking today. Okay, okay. This is one of the commuters. He said he's coming from his village and he's going home. And that he will go and park his car and sit at home in respect in in respect to Nam de Carlo, who is being tried by the federal government at the federal high court in Abuja. That is the situation report from Oji flyover in you know, Demo State Capital. This is what is happening this morning. Just very people. Because this very part, if you know what a very well, this very particular spot is very busy because from this place now, you take from this route now, it's called the Oji flyover, speed back Akwakma Road because this route leads to the residence of a former governor of Imo State, Senator Rocha Sokrocha. From this route, you will be leading you to Imo State University or whatever, that is IMSU. This route leads you straight to government house in Oware. Why this route leads you to Okiwe, Oangana, Isi Alambano, Amanako, Ata, and the, as the case may be. And from here, you will also go to Enugu and the Hutru and Abakileke. That is to show you that normally it is a very busy, busy road. A, there are two big transportation companies that are here. That is the Peace Mass. And, uh, and another one, which I've forgotten their name. But this morning, they are witnessing low patronage. People are not coming to board vehicles to various destinations. Unlike on a normal day, you have seen plenty of people coming, those who are going to Enugu, those who are going to Abakileke, those who are going to Joss, those who are going to Lagos, those who are going to Abuja, besieging this very particular place to board vehicles to their various destinations. But on a, on a normal Monday morning, Today, the whole place, the whole place is deserted. People are sitting back home with very minimal, very small commercial activities this morning. That is what is happening. For the fourth week running, after INEC, after IPOB suspended its weekly sit at home order in, in honor of Nam the Kalu is being held, or where the residents are still sitting back home. They are saying that they are not satisfied with uh, with IPOMS, IPOMS decision to lift the suspension order. People are sitting back home. People are not coming out to work, apart from employees of the of the Imo state government and the federal government, private business owners, private uh, artisans, and very many of them are sitting back home. They are not working this morning. That is very low petrol in terms of. Business activities, people are not working, people did not come out, banks are short, shopping malls are short, business outlets are short, a popular eatery outfit here that is called Crunchies is short this morning. It is not up, it is not operating, it is not working. People are sitting back on with just very large, small scale of people working this morning because if you know what a very by now you have seen not less than three four hundred people and with no less than 50 60 70 cars vehicles commercial vehicles this morning staying here to to carry people to various destinations and we, you would have seen hundreds of vehicles private vehicles from this destination going to work this morning this place there would have been traffic grid lock this morning here but the reverse is the case the road is virtually empty. From the OG flyover bus stop on Oware, Okiwe Road, in Oware, the Imo State Capital. This is Chidem Bokoma, bringing you live feed from what is happening in Oware on, uh, on a Monday morning like this. Four weeks after IPOP has suspended its weekly sit at home order, the people of, uh, the people of Imo State are residents of Oware. Are sitting sitting back home. I will bring you more live feeds from other parts of the state capital.
But for now, we'll be ending this broadcast. Bye for now. Thank you very much. I will see you in my next one. And thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this video at the comment section. And I will see you in my next one. But if you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click on that red button down below. And turn on the bell for notifications so you will be notified anytime I upload new videos. And do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Oh my God. Ciao, ciao. Bye. I love you all. Mm. Jaw. Can you see the vision? Everything in this world will be okay. Can we be together?